You know, the Fortnite community is never happy. I thought that Fortnite Season 2 was doing almost everything perfect. And then I went to Twitter and saw a bunch of people complaining about how bad Fortnite is right now. Shocking, I know. This never happens, especially on Twitter. This all started because of a meme that was shared by Aiko. Wow, this new chapter is amazing. They nailed it. Season 2 is cool, but duh. It's so boring. Like Zoinks, this season's trash. They've given up. Oh man, I can't wait for this chapter to end. This is the worst chapter of all time. Now, of course, a lot of people agreed with this post to give a bunch of reasons as to why they hate current Fortnite. Yada, 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 However, the thing that really took me by surprise was how many people were actually considering the idea that Fortnite might need to drop BR entirely. Registro even left a comment that said, honestly, I feel like the entire player base is just absolutely burnt out with BR. We've seen and played literally everything New items and cosmetics are only fun for so long. That's why I'm really hoping that open world game mode comes out soon and the map will be 10 times bigger than what we've got right now. Echo replied and said, you get it. After five years, half a decade, how many more exciting updates or seasons can they make for their old player base? Trust me, the children probably love it, just like we once did. Now, these weren't the only two comments that were like this. These are just obviously the ones that stood out to me the most. But what they made me do was really do some introspection and start thinking, is BR actually really stale? And even if it's not, is the community actually justified in some of their complaints here? Also, I started thinking about why we keep having this conversation over and over again. Most people would probably think that it's pointless and even pointless to make a video talking or covering this topic because it seems like we talk about this at least two or three times a season. But I do think there is an angle that I have not explored yet on this channel. And after several videos and writing the script, it made me painfully aware of something that Fortnite has been ignoring for a very long time, which is the reason why these comments comments keep popping up. And if I'm being honest, it's so obvious as to what this issue is, I'm a little embarrassed by the fact that I have never mentioned it to you guys up until this point, at least not in the way that I'm going to explain it to you today. The good news is though, when we get to that point of the video, I do have a solution for how Fortnite can solve this issue, and I think it will appease the vast majority of the Fortnite player base. But before we get into either of those, we really need to sit down and think about, has Fortnite's BR really run its course? From my perspective, BR has not become stale. I think the things that Epic does each season to keep the game going mixes it up at least enough for me to stay interested. I like the challenge of having to adapt to new metas every season. However, I still need to recognize and address my bias. The advantage I have over a lot of my viewers is that I am a content creator, so I have more of an incentive to continue to play Fortnite. And I have to ask myself the question, if I wasn't a Fortnite content creator, would I be as invested in the game as I am now. And if I'm being honest, the answer is no. Now, would I quit Fortnite entirely? Absolutely not. I'd still probably play a couple of times a week, but I just don't think that I would be as enthusiastic to play it as I am right at this point. Because see, the great thing is, as a content creator, I always have somebody new to play with, I always have an audience of people that are wanting to watch me play, and I can figure out new ways to make the game exciting for all of you guys. But when I'm talking about this topic today and when I'm looking at these issues, I really need to think about it from your guys' perspective, the average person who's not a content creator, who probably doesn't have a following doing this, and who just likes to play video games for the sake of having a lot of fun. Now, I think there's another important question we need to ask here. Just because I wouldn't be as invested in Fortnite if I wasn't a content creator, does that mean that there's something necessarily wrong with Fortnite as it is? Not necessarily. I think that BR, just like any other video game genre, has tremendous sticking power. Meaning that as old fans grow away from Fortnite, new fans will come in and enjoy it because the game mode is so compelling. And that's actually what Aiko was alluding to in his response to Restro. When you look at games like Call of Duty, Halo, Minecraft, they've all been around for well over a decade and continue to hold their fan bases. Also keep in mind, those games get nowhere near the same amount of updates as we do. Like Minecraft gets one update a year. And if you wanna talk about repetitive, let's look at Call of Duty. It's the same game reskinned every Christmas. So if this is true, why are these other video games able to hold their fan bases for so long without updating them frequently, unlike Fortnite, which gives their player base a tremendous amount of content? Are Fortnite players just unappreciative and spoiled? In some ways, yes, but there's a reason why the player base keeps complaining about the things that they do in an endless loop. 
As we've talked about on this channel before, it's not just about getting consistent updates, but instead updates that are meaningful, updates that give us what we need when we need it. It's quality over quantity. Now, the reason why I love this season so much is because we've gotten both. We've gotten consistent updates, and each one of them have added something of tremendous value to the gameplay. And if that's the case, everything should be perfect, right? The community should be happy with so much content. We've finally gotten back where we need to be, right? Almost, but not quite. You see guys, there's another key ingredient to Fortnite that it needs to be more successful, or at least please the community in a more consistent way. It's the reason why we keep seeing the same complaints from players every season. It's also the reason why Minecraft, Call of Duty, and Halo are still as successful as they are. And ironically, it's Fortnite's biggest selling point while also being its biggest weakness. Fortnite constantly changing and reinventing itself is in fact its biggest downfall. Simply put, Fortnite has an identity crisis. Think about it like this. The reason why people continue to buy the new Call of Duty every year, even though it's essentially the same game, is because Call of Duty has an identity. It knows what it is. It has a consistent play pattern. The same goes for Minecraft and Halo. And although these games don't get updated as much as Fortnite, when they do, they tend not to stray too far from their core identity. Now let's look at Fortnite. We know that when it comes to updates, Fortnite is unmatched. And I think the way that they experiment with their metas should be praised. However, a lot of people, even content creators I know, feel like Fortnite doesn't feel like Fortnite anymore. The game just does not feel the same and it's lost its core identity. I'm just gonna say it, I think that Fortnite feels better when it's nostalgic based or of course more simple. Yes, it is absolutely beautiful. The game has become beautiful, cinematic, absolutely gorgeous, but at the same time, it's kind of lost its uh, Fortnite feel. And that's just my personal opinion, but I really do feel like that is exactly what is going on with the game right now. I hate to admit it, but in many ways, I think that this is true, even if I still enjoy Fortnite and it still feels like Fortnite to me. However, it's a far cry from what the game used to be. And listen, as much as I love season two and appreciate all the consistent updates that we have, I still have problems with this game. As I was scripting this video, what I came to realize is that my biggest frustrations with Fortnite as it is now come from Epic's consistent denial of the things that made this game great in the first place. Them denying us all the things that we came to love this game for initially. This might sound weird, but I think that Fortnite is afraid of its own identity. Think about it, why are shotguns so weak? Why do they refuse to bring Siphon back even when it comes to competitive? Why do we remove hitscan weapons? Why are trap slots not usable? Why do we feel the need to constantly reinvent weapons when we have so many good ones from previous loot pools? Also, think back to previous videos on this channel where we talked about the most fun seasons from the modern era. And if you don't know, the modern era consists of chapters three and four. A lot of our favorite seasons from that time period typically include play patterns that are similar to the classic seasons of Fortnite, those being chapters one and two. I like that Fortnite is experimenting with weapons. And initially, I wasn't even opposed to them playing around with bullet drop but in hindsight it creates a skill curve that i don't feel is necessary when building is enough of a daunting task to learn not to mention a lot of the new weapons that get added in replace of old ones are terrible in my opinion this is the worst shotgun meta we've had since primal and for fortnite the shotgun meta is at the core of its gameplay. It's what makes close range fights and building so enjoyable. It's what makes close encounters and zero builds so risky and decisive. I could be wrong, but in my opinion, the shotgun is the most important weapon in Fortnite culture. And listen, there is nothing wrong with adding new weapons, but throwing away many of your core items that made the game fun and were iconic to your brand seems like a move in the wrong direction. Imagine if Halo got rid of the Needler or the Energy Sword in place of something else that did less damage. The community would be furious, and that's essentially what Fortnite has done time and time again. And look, it's not just the weapons, it's the presentation of the game as well. More specifically, the lack of representation for other game modes. Can you imagine if Halo removed Slayer or King of the Hill? This is basically what Epic did with LTMs, and another reason why people get bored with BR so easily. There are not enough BR adjacent modes for us to sink our teeth into. Epic needs to understand that we love LTMs and it's because we love BR. It's a different version of the main game mode that we adore so much and it's why we come to Fortnite. This specifically is a topic that I wanna cover in more depth in the future. So if you wanna see that, make sure to subscribe to the channel and also like the video while you're here. If you've been watching for this long, I know you're having a good time. 
As cool as Rocket Racing, LEGO, and Fortnite Festival are, it's not what most of us are coming to Fortnite for. And Creative, just to put it bluntly, has never been able to take the place of LTMs. The same way that a lot of new elements of modern Fortnite VR have not been able to replicate or replace the feel of OG. This is where we meet our dilemma, because regardless of how you feel about OG, there's a reason why it was so successful. It was a return to core Fortnite. Now, the real source of the dilemma is that the community is split on this. Some people say that OG was too basic and too boring, when others were saying that this is what true Fortnite is about, and in many ways, both sides are right. I don't think that we need the OG graphics back, but I'd be lying if I said the new graphics didn't change the tone of the game. I love the new maps even getting with some of the POIs, but there is a charm to those old locations that has not been replicated. So what's the solution to this? Am I saying that we need to go back to the old Fortnite island and bring all the old weapons back, remove NPCs, make the game more basic, just go back to how things used to be in chapter one? Or should we take a more drastic approach and get rid of BR entirely and replace it with a new game mode that maybe everyone can get excited about? I don't think that either of these options would please the Fortnite community, including the ones that want to take us back to chapter one. However, I do believe I have a solution that can appease the vast majority of Fortnite players. To ignore all the great additions to Fortnite over the last three chapters would be a crime. There has been tremendous value added in each chapter. The problem is we've never put all of these things together. And to answer our initial question, I don't think the solution is to remove BR entirely. However, I do believe Fortnite could use an overhaul when it comes to its current play pattern. BR hasn't added anything truly groundbreaking or revolutionary in quite some time, so I think it might be the right moment for Fortnite to start thinking outside the box a little bit more, and this is how they do it. Imagine if Epic Games sat down, looked at Fortnite, and said, let's recreate the Chapter 1 Island, but let's do it as if we're doing it for the first time, but with all of our hindsight and knowledge from the last five chapters, all of our resources, all of our assets, all the new technology, and all the cool things that we've learned over these last few years, let's put them in a new version of OG Fortnite. So in essence, you're recreating the Chapter 1 Island, but with all new assets. You give it new textures, recreate the old buildings with new pieces, spice up classic POIs, but make them more interesting. Give them a new layer of depth like we've seen in chapters four and five. Make it more detailed, but still keeping it playful and cartoony. Now, as much as I love the old graphics, I think we've had better. In my opinion, the best that Fortnite ever looked was in chapter four, so I think we should bring those graphics back. Bring the best weapons from old seasons from all chapters while continuing to make new ones, but keep a core loot pool that never gets removed. Scar, Pump Shotgun, Tack Shotgun, Launchpad, just to name a few. I think we should bring back Augments, but give us new ones that replicate the feel of old BR, like Double Pump and Siphon. While also keeping the best of the Augments that we had before, specifically, pretty much every Augment that we had in Chapter 4 Season 1, that was peak augment play style. Keep NPCs in the map, but don't make them overbearing. No cringe music in boss fights that prevent me from hearing opponents sneak up. Add in new features like random weather events that make the game feel more immersive. Increase the size of the map and maybe add more players to each round if you can find a way to do it without breaking the servers. Finally, mix up the core play pattern of BR. Maybe having multiple storm circles at the same time. Hide items on the map that we can search for and bring back to the lobby with us. You would do this to encourage people to explore the island, but also give us more of a reason to win games by letting us keep the loot that we found. Maybe even give them some kind of utility or function on the island. Like what if you and your friends had to collect a certain group of items to unlock a secret location or Easter egg on the island somewhere. These are just a handful of the things that I thought up, but I'm pretty sure that a lot of you guys watching could come up with something better. So if you've got something, I want you to let me know in the comment section down below. I'm curious. Fortnite doesn't need to completely remove Battle Royale, but it does need to be better than it is. If we mix the old core elements of Fortnite with new ideas and features from recent seasons and chapters, I think we could have the best version of Fortnite we've ever seen. Who knows, maybe in time Epic Games will actually listen to us. But then, and only then, will we truly be able to experience peak Fortnite.